What's going on YouTube? Flancer here and today I'm going to be going skydiving and June is going to be filled with a lot of fun things for me to do and for me to bring stuff for you all to see on YouTube. So there's a lot of content to come that I think you all will enjoy. And there we go again. After a long time of me trying to get rid of that word all, I'm bringing it back for some odd reason. So let's cut that word out now. So yeah, I'm in Arkansas. I'm going to be doing some skydiving, jumping into a discreet event. I'm not sure if I can talk about the event. I'm going to find out by the end of the day. So if I can't talk about it, I can put that in the later part of the video towards the end so you guys could all know what exactly I have been jumping for. It's going to be fun. I haven't jumped since last year. As you do know, I did do a road to my Acer, which is the certification you need to go skydiving on your own. I need five more jumps. And with today, uh, depending on how many jumps I do do today, I'm going to be closer and closer to getting that 25 total. So like I said, I only need five more. I'm going to try to hook up the GoPro this time because I know in all my videos, you see me actually do the cool things of skydiving, doing tricks in the air and all that. But you never see me actually doing anything with the canopy and the canopy is the actual parachute so if I could hook up the GoPro then you should be able to see all that stuff the weather is also great so I don't think we're gonna have any hiccups or anything like that where we had to wait a couple hours a couple minutes before we could go up so I think we're gonna be able to go up in the sky jump out and keep doing as many times as we want and that's all depending on how much time we have before the actual event so that is one thing that we are doing today but June like I said is going to be filled with a lot of things I will also be going out to E3 I'll be out there for I believe June 15th to June 17th so if you are at E3 be sure to come up to me and say what's up come grab a picture come talk to me about anything you want to talk about the health fitness gaming destiny halo uh, the Optic Gaming Crew, anything you want to talk about, be sure to come up to me and ask. I'm excited for E3 because last year it was a blast. I got to meet some pretty cool people while I was out there. And this time, I'm actually going to arrive on time for all the press conferences. Last time, I missed out on the Microsoft conference because of my flight. So I made sure to get an earlier flight so I could actually hit those on time. I'm going to record a lot while I'm out there. If there's something specific you want to see but you're not going to be able to make it to the event, be sure to leave a comment on something you possibly want to see me record. I will do my best to try to record that and you know bring it out to all you. Then I return back home on the 17th to the Optic House. I continue the grind on Optic Halo with the squadron. And they're all flying out to the Optic House, I believe, two days before our event, which is June 26th in Indy. Now, it's, I believe, only a two to three hour drive. So we're going to be running a van, and then we're all departing from the Optic House on a little road trip to the event. So it's going to be exciting. We've been doing pretty well on the online cup, place 4 4. And the last week we had a little hiccup. We ended up placing top 12 in the last online cup which is like the first time I placed out of the top 8 in my career even based on online in the longest time and that will never happen again I can guarantee you that fun in June it's going to be exciting all this fun stuff I'm super excited for the skydiving part just because I've enjoyed so much I have missed that adrenaline rush and I cannot wait to get up on 13,000 feet up in the air get into my starting position ready one two uh I am at the Walmart shareholders event, right? So, I was calling it stakeholders. But what it is, is a huge fest of just everything. We got a rock wall climb up there. I think this is a bike for midgets to go racing in. It's an inside joke, but you could probably actually race here with bikes. Um, we have a zip line that is broken right now that I'm gonna end up doing, which is actually probably not the safest thing since if it is broken and to get injured, but it is what it is. I'm gonna skydive anyway, so I might as well do zip lining because I've never done that. And we also have a stage. See, we're at this point in the video where there was no skydiving shown and the reason is I ended up having to do a tandem jump for the skydive today and the reason was 
because FFA did not approve of me jumping on my own because of the tree lines. So can't break the law, obviously, in a situation like that. And then I'm just doing what I was allowed to do, which was a tandem jump. And it was incredible. If you follow me on Snapchat, you would have seen me actually record the two parts of me in free fall. Or not free fall, but in the parachute, recording the scenes, which was awesome. I'll also play one of the parts right now. As you see, it was pretty sweet, and I definitely now I'm gonna make sure that I do complete that series, of those uh, five last jumps, and then I can indeed jump on my own and bring you all some exciting skydiving content. But like I already said once, June is going to be a fun month, so I hope you all are ready for the ride. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, this is your homie Flameshirt. I'll see you guys later. Peace.